quick because easy mode also does make it um, ammo a little bit more easier to find. And I think we need something here. Yeah, we need the ink ribbons. Let's take the ink ribbons. Yes, we do. And already I can tell you guys we're going to need to make multiple trips to the box now. We have way too many things mm -hmm. in our inventory. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to try and take out a few more of these guys. Uh, Screw you. Uh, and that's enough for today, right? I hope so. Hopefully we took it out. I, the, the thing is, is that they're a puddle of blood. They're taken out permanently, so we, we don't have to worry about it. But we're going to have to do that multiple times because that's a big mob. Yay, back to the box. The box with you, Alex. The box. You need some solo time in the box, Alex. There we go. Okay, so what do we need to put away? We need to put away the acid rounds because we can't use them yet. I'm going to put away one of the herb combinations and the green herb. Why did you combine the green herb? Oh, just oh, yeah, it's that's kind right. of not worth it um, to do it because you can technically do three green herbs to make one big pile. And that's roughly the same amount as a as a first aid spray. Mm -hmm. But which would you rather have a first aid spray or three herbs? Or, or like a bunch of two herb combinations. I have no yeah, you, you want to have the two herbs. So I'm, I'm wanting to save that as a last resort. Either that or like if we come across a lot of red herbs, then, you know, do green red so that we can get powerful combinations. There we go. One's dead for sure. Yep. And two's dead. Nope. Not dead. There's still one twitching too, so I'm not sure. Yep. Still alive. Or no. No, he's he's playing possum. Well, this is what I think about you playing possum. I think they're dead. Okay, he's permanently dead. Yay, at least we can get through he's, them without. He's not mostly dead. He's dead, thankfully. Yep. So here's the green herb we missed last time. So we'll keep that. And can we check the, nothing is wrong. Okay, you can't get a soda. Sorry, guys, can't have a soda. But now we can go down this way. Because why go down the liquor room door when you don't have to? Oh, you found a way around the liquor? Oh, no, we're going to have to go there, but I want to get all of these rooms done first. Okay, so that one's dead. Ah. Oh, damn it. Kick his head. Boom. There you go. Oh, and the lady. Is <sighs> Not into you, lady. Okay, so now I don't... Oh, oh geez. Okay. I wonder if he can get around. Oh, ah, damn it. Well, at least you can kick his head. Yeah, I kick his head. So at that point, I don't have to worry about him ever again. Caution. No, we're not going to use it right off the bat. It's locked. A diamond is etched on the keyhole. So I was actually able to confirm this in off time. Yes, that diamond keyhole is the one that actually takes us into the interrogation <gasps> room. And that's what we like. There's going to be an item that we need out of that area. So, red herb. Let's go ahead and combine red and green. And now we get basically something as powerful as two herbs. So let's go ahead and go in here. This is riveting gameplay, Alex, because, you know, this is the exact same stuff you saw before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can see already there's something in there that we need to get. But we need the diamond key to, to get it. So handgun bullets. Yay. I'm sitting at over 100 bullets. We're fine. Uh, was there anything else over here? No, this is just this is where they watched as people stewed in the interrogation room. 
or I guess in Raccoon City's case, slowly became a zombie. <laughs> Okay, locked. A club is etched on the keyhole, so no, can't go down this way. But hey, we don't have to worry about the zombies anymore. Because as you can see, they're gone. Where did they go? They, they're gone, for, period. I know. Where did they go? I have a feeling that won't be the case in the upcoming remake, but we'll go with it right now. Oh, and good news, the big mob is gone too. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. Is that a book? Seems to be an office over there. Yeah, no, that's not anything we can use. Quick, use a payphone. We can call somebody collect, right? Nothing to care about. <laughs> we don't care about phones. Seriously, this is the age of cell phones. Duh. Uh, this game came out of the 90s, so payphones were still a thing. Remember, in the 90s, you had bricks for cell phones. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not early 90s, but by by the mid to 90s late was when Motorola was experimenting with like a really mini phone and it didn't work out. It was like the early razor design. Oh, don't you remember? We used to have those dial phones, Alex. Yeah. OK. I'm going to save now because we've officially run out of stuff to do in the other area. We, we have to face the liquor now. Well, at least then we don't have to go through all that again. But we have, to be, we have to be careful because I remember Resident Evil 2 is actually very stingy with the same ribbons, so. Well, yeah, but at least now you don't have to go through all those gauntlets. Over here? I can't remember. No. That light is always misleading for me. Oh, and I probably should point this out because um, I don't know if you can actually hear it in this room, but the save room music for Resident Evil 2 is awesome. Nope, doesn't play here. So we'll have to get to another save room before you guys can hear it. Oh, and are you are you ready to see it again? Yep. Whee! Hi. Hi, liquor. Now, before people get mad at me because I didn't explain this in the lore the last time, I should also explain that the liquor is one of the first subjects that you see under the new G virus. Ooh. Which hasn't been explained to us yet, but basically it's T virus on steroids. That's the best way to look at it. Oh, can I go in here? Spade. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, hi. Dripping puddle of blood. Oh, no. You can see its brain and everything. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Yay, we don't care. Yay! Oh, dude, that would have been death blow. That would have been death blow. That's I have a, no problem saying it. That's a one shot kill move. Yeah, anytime he uses the tongue. Oh, wow. Anytime he uses it, because that tongue is sharp enough to, to pierce you. Jeez. Can you imagine if that followed you everywhere? <laughs> like the hunters. Uh, it's going to. So, th so there's no imagining here, Andrea. The, this thing is going to follow us now. So eventually yeah, he's so just going to find just, his way around it here. Could, yeah. It could just open doors. Now, the cool part is, is that there's only one. Okay, we, we don't have to worry yeah. about, like, multiple liquors at this point. It's not going to be, like, the hunter part of the mansion. Mm -hmm. uh, but this thing is going to show up when you least expect it. And it's going to suck. Sorry, I keep on interrupting, yeah. Andrea. What? No, I'm just saying, so it can just open doors and come through a door. No. No, it's it's fixed, but it'll show up in random rooms. He's using the like vents. you'll never see it open a door. If that's what you're asking. Operation, Operation report. report. Oh, we, we already read this. So this is basically how they they tried to handle the zombie apocalypse that was happening. OK, so what's in here? Oh, he's back, I think. Oh, no, there's that boom. Yeah, misleading. Don't don't okay. trust the music. It I'm just, just going to tell you this now, Alex. The music will. The music is the dark side. It will deceive you. OK. Don't don't give yourself an unnecessary heart attack here. Uh, This one we needed a lighter for. It's a fireplace and oil painting hangs above it. The title is a sacrifice to the hellfire. So fortunately, we don't have a lighter yet. So can't do anything in here. 
And actually, I just barely realized. Now I know why the tongue came out so quick. Because we're in caution. He'd damage us first if we were fine. Uh, a ventilation shaft. It's dark inside. Oh, crap. <laughs> Maybe in the Leon uh, walkthrough is what I'm thinking of, where that's open and you can get into another room. Okay, in here. Oh, hi. Lots more zombies. Let's uh, let's go this way. It's locked. Diamond is etched. Well, I should not have made it. Run! Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's some plants or something in the corner. Yeah, it's not an herb. Oh, it's not. Oh. Nope. Is it anything? Or... Run! Run! Ah! Now, I can't run at this point. <laughs> okay, you guys are playing awesome. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Screw you. Okay, <laughs> caution. Go ahead and use this. Oh, I'm fine again. Wait till he gets up. Oh, there you okay. go. I can fire at him. Oh, okay. So that's fine. I just uh, Yeah, the, the oh, thing you were herbs. looking at before, this is just background. Okay. Can't do anything with it. No, well, in the other corner. No, I know. I was, I was just pointing out to you. Well, I meant those ones there. Yeah. There's herbs. Okay, will you take the green herb? Yes. Yes. And this will actually replace the green red that I just lost. So, yay. <laughs> Gotta love that music, everybody. Oh, it's totally setting the scene for you. This is not a good place to be. This is the save room music. So, just give a second. I'll probably turn this up in the video. This is actually, in my opinion, one of the best save room musics in the entire series. Because it doesn't necessarily feel all that safe. Okay, box. Anything that we can move? Not really. I don't want to move the herbs yet. But now we have another save room, Alex. This should be helpful. Check the lockers. It's locked. A special kind of key is required. I think is this is where you're supposed to get your bonuses, so can't do that yet. Uh, ink ribbons here. Yay, ink ribbons. Yay. This is going to be reckless, but I'm going to save here. Just in case. Bonk. Dark room. Yeah, that's right. This is this is basically police photography. This is the dark room area with all of their crime scene footage. OK, if we go in here, this is the actual dark room. I think there's something on the counter we need to grab. I could develop film here <laughs> if I want. Which I think plays into the Leon story. You actually have to develop film. There we go. Well, nothing else in here that we can grab, Alex. Sorry. It's time to go out into the zombie infested hallways again. Oh, hey, hi, stair cutscene. <laughs> At least other this, no this is just because things. it's going to a higher floor. So now you have to load the new map. Yay, floor two. Well, this is dark and foreboding, isn't it? Yes. A knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. OK, well, that's not helpful. Oh, look at that. The statue's holding something. Something is written on the mounting. The God of the sun and the God of the moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. Aha. Uh -huh. So everybody ready for some good old fashioned puzzles? Yep. So this is going to be a little difficult just because of the camera. Healing me camera. 
So they're not facing him now. This is a pretty easy puzzle to figure out, guys. You just have to make sure that they face him. And as you can see, there are actually tiles on the floor that are different colored. Probably a latch. Bonk. So we got that. Let's go ahead and move the other one. I'm going to call unrealistic because I don't I don't see Claire actually being able to move these things on her own. Because she's a girl. <laughs> But hey, look at that butt, Alex. I mean, it's awesome. It's, yeah, very nice. Well, that wasn't good. Don't drop it, Mr. Statue. Okay, what's this? Will you take the red jewel? Yes, yep. I will. So this will play later. I think we need to find a blue jewel, too. They're kind of playing Tomb Raider. Kind of. Tomb Raider. This is what I love about Resident Evil, is like a lot of the puzzle solving is actually really fun. Oh, by the way, uh, oh, never mind. This is not where we've been before. I thought it was. Where is it? Oh. No, this is not where we've been before. This is the star's office. Ooh. So. Yeah, this is where this is where stars was sent out before they headed to the Spencer Mansion last game. There are various devices. This must be where they gathered information. Um. Let's go to can't do anything with this one. There are unopened cardboard boxes. It looks like a rookie's desk. So this is technically Rebecca Chambers' desk. Ooh, interesting. And you could see actually her her medical equipment bag right there. Just to kind of give you a hint that yes, this was meant for Rebecca. Uh here's other desks. Chris's diary. So this is Chris Redfield's desk. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. You mean like you? <sighs> but the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. <laughs> August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strangle monster, or strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Claire. So Chris's diary has been filed. And just underneath the diary, will you take the unicorn medal? Yes, we will. We're probably going to need that. So this is Chris's desk. The desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. And actually in the background, remember how Chris had spare costumes? Yeah. That jacket is one of them. Oh, cool. So that's how you're supposed to know that that's Chris's desk. We can only guess that this is Jill's desk right next to him. I thought that was Rebecca's. Uh, it's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. It's, yeah, it's probably Rebecca. Um, nothing is suspicious or out of the ordinary. And there's the stars logo. Stop. It's trashed. Someone must have searched the desk. Oh, no. Those it's bastards from Umbrella. It's tra um, actually, it, it's it's not. A, I can tell you it's not Umbrella. Yeah. There isn't anything useful on the shelf. Now, this one that's obsessed with guns, if you can't figure out who it is, it's Barry's. Wow. It appears to be a replica of a gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. Remember, one of the things that was cool about Barry was that he had a cult. Yeah. Like a really rare gun. There are various trophies. One of them reads Marksmanship Contest winner Chris Redfield. What about Wesker? Wasn't he a part of the team as well? Actually, this would technically have been Wesker's desk. Oh, OK. Because he's the leader. Silly Wesker, you don't get a computer. <laughs> Everybody else does, though. Uh, locker. Cool. Yes. You can't carry it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to go. Find That's him. the grenade launcher, so we need it. Oh, well, let's go and put those two items. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> oh facts. 